long will we be masterminds of destruction and wickedness? Instead of loyal servants of the Lord of life, we have been soldiers of the army's evolution, leaving behind millions of tombs opened under a torrent of ash and smoke. In vain, Christ has exhorted us to seek the manifestation of the Father within us. We nurture and expand only selfishness and ambition, vanity and fantasy. We continue to incur onerous moral debts and enslave ourselves to the sad outcomes of our deeds, lingering indefinitely in a crop of thorns. In such a state we have reached the modern era, in which madness is widespread and men and women's mental instability is on the verge of disaster. Within an evolved brain and an immature heart, we hone our art of wrecking our spiritual progress. There is a new threat to the planet, however. The profound imbalance, the generalized disharmony and the infirmities of the soul that subtly undermine your stability. Widespread and growing instability has taken over the human mind. Nations and ideologies, systems and principles fight desperately with each other. The effort of salvation does not belong exclusively to religion. It is a ministry common to all, for the day will come when people will realize that the Divine Presence is everywhere. Our responsibility is not geared toward a particular interest. It is generic work for the entire community, the effort of honest and sincere servants interested in the well-being of all. We are not addressing those who still dream within the confinement of the self entangled in the thousand obstacles of the illusion that crystallizes their beliefs. We are speaking to those who are eager for our universality, nameless friends of the humankind that is making an effort to emerge from the darkness into the light.